I want to welcome you to a special show today about the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland. I'm Susan Buddha. Verizon Maryland is proud to sponsor this Distinguished Women's Awards for the Girl Scouts of America and the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland. It's such an important event because it recognizes the contribution of, of five very special women in the community who have and live with the same values that the Girl Scouts have as part of their very existence. So Verizon is a perfect fit for the Girl Scouts. We've both been around a hundred years or more and we're both very dedicated to serving the communities where we work and live. My name is Mara Malarkey. Laura Black once told me that we're all the same more so than we are different. This statement is true, right? Humans are all the same more so than we are different. So statistically, why are less than three percent of females holding the highest positions in the workplace? Ms. Black and I discussed this matter and agreed that child care and other general family responsibilities, as well as lack of mentors and role models, are some of the major things that hold us back from this title. Only about 24 of the top Fortune 1000 companies have women as their CEOs. Ms. Black, with her partner, started her own company, now called Special Counsel, that supplied temporary legal staff. It helps law firms with their staffing needs and grew into one of the largest temporary legal staffing companies in the country. After she sold her company, she started doing nonprofit work because she wanted to give back to the community. She said her biggest interest was to motivate women and empower them to get wherever they wanted to go. She wanted them to reach whatever goals they had, big or small. Sinai Hospital of Baltimore was an impressive institute. I think that my most memorable moment from my visit was how many times Ms. Black made me use the hand sanitizer to clean my hands. <laughs> Ms. Black stressed the importance of prioritizing and how you should always do everything to the best of your ability. Prioritizing and networking. Everyone you meet on the way up, you'll meet on the way down. So <laughs> nice to everyone. <laughs> if you want power, you need to connect with people. You should keep these three letters in mind. V stands for vision. C, what you want. I stands for identification. Identify to the world who you are. P stands for passion. If you don't have passion in what you're doing, then no one is going to hop on the bandwagon and follow you. Ms. Black said, some of the best moments are being instead of doing. Life is about being happy. And sometimes, if you don't do something that is going to change the world, it's the baby steps that you take along the way that are going to get you closer to doing that. I know Ms. Black has already personally changed my world just by altering my perspective on numerous things like the way you treat others, networking, prioritizing, volunteering, and most importantly, being yourself and being proud of it. I know that I can carry with me everything she has taught me, and with a little confidence, I can be successful in my future. Laura said, on my deathbed, I want to think, how did I leave the world a better place? It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Miss Laura Black. You know, when we think about it, and, and as we stand here tonight in these turbulent times, our days are filled with angst. We're worried over the state of our country, our economy, and our world. We are bombarded almost daily with stories of dishonesty, greed, and outright atrocities. It is so comforting, just so comforting to be reminded that Molly and all the other girls like Molly is really what we're all about. Molly helped me remember all that is good. Thank you, Molly. Thank you to the Girl Scouts for developing all the many Mollies of our future. Okay, I'm Jill Moss Greenberg. I'm Executive Director of the Maryland Women's Heritage Center. And the reason I'm here tonight for this fabulous event is because the Girl Scouts have the same values of caring about preparing girls for today and tomorrow, and we have a partnership with the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland, of which we are very, very proud. I'm Maria Johnson and I'm the Vice President of Advancement for Girl Scouts of Central Maryland and this tonight was incredible and the part about it that is even more spectacular than the honorees and all the girls is really the opportunity to have our partners with us. The Women's Heritage Center has been a great partner and gives girls an opportunity to do things that they wouldn't have an opportunity to do otherwise and that's really what Girl Scouting is about is to broaden your horizons, to teach you new things, to meet different kinds of people, to diversify your experience and you know this has been a great 
partnership. And tonight is a fabulous, really a fabulous moment to do that. So Absolutely. And this is a time, I think, when girls are seeing all kinds of opportunities and Girl Scouts are helping to empower them in so many ways and that's just the kind of leadership that the Women's Heritage Center cares about helping to create to have a future that's much more equitable where girls don't have to question can I do this but know that they can mm -hmm. it's just a matter of when and how well and I think that's part of what has been interesting to learn that I can't believe that in Maryland that we don't have one already when I first met Jill and I said oh well of course we have to do this with you but I <laughs> I couldn't possibly imagine there already wasn't a women's heritage center here and so yeah. this is just an opportunity to say to girls okay you know what this it hasn't been that long yeah. since you know women weren't in the places that they are now and so part Partnerships and networking is critical to this event. It's critical to the experience of women being successful. And it's important to teach young girls how to do that. And if you're interested in Girl Scouting, we certainly have opportunities for volunteerism. Certainly, we can always use funds to support programming and partnership opportunities. Our number is 410-358-9711 or www.gscm.org. And the Maryland Women's Heritage Center contact information is um, our website is www.mdwomensheritagecenter.org and you can reach us best probably by email mwhcjill at comcast.net. Thanks so much. Thank you. As I said, I'm Susan Buda with Verizon, and we are so pleased to be the signature sponsor of this exciting event tonight. It honors the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland and the women that the distinguished women that the Girl Scouts uh, spent a day with, and it's a perfect match for Verizon because these people have a true focus on community and what good can be done in the community, and they go and do it. And we're very proud to be a sponsor. My name is Karen Garnett, and I was privileged to shadow Cameron Larson, CEO and founder of Aquas. First, I would like to thank Mrs. Larson and her staff for making me feel welcome and for the opportunities presented to me. I would also like to thank the Girl Scout organization for allowing Girl Scouts the opportunity to follow such accomplished women. And last but not least, I would like to thank my parents for their support. <laughs> Aquas, or Automated Quality Applications and Systems, is a minority women-owned small business offering information, technology, and business process analysis solutions based out of Bethesda, Maryland. They specialize in services such as computer systems design and related services. On the day I shadowed Mrs. Larson, I had the pleasure of going to the SSE building and the Pentagon. My day first started out meeting some of her staff and seeing what Mrs. Larson does on a daily basis. I noted an analogy between homework and the workplace. When you have an overwhelming amount of homework, you just stop, organize, prioritize, and start somewhere. This is exactly what Mrs. Larson did. She organized and prioritized what needed to be done. The main concern and the reason for the overwhelming paperwork was to secure contracts to keep her staff working. This was another lesson I learned, that you need to have jobs set up in advance for your employees. My favorite part of the shadowing was the opportunity to see the Pentagon. An intern who works at Aquas as part of Mrs. Larson's community projects joined us. In addition to the tour given by a retired Army officer, I learned the importance of working with other companies, organizations, and government to make success happen. Even though I wish to own a small veterinarian business, utilizing the opportunities like the ones Aquas provides is beneficial in running the most efficient business possible. In addition, I applaud Mrs. Larson's accomplishments in winning awards from the Department of Agriculture, Women-Owned Business, and Contractor of the Year. It gives me great pleasure to introduce you to Mrs. Carmen Ortez Larson. Um, I'm so impressed that you actually got all that <laughs> from my day. So I have congratulated Girl Scouts of America for being today's leaders. 
Um, I know your challenges will be a little bit different than mine, but not so different after all. Um, and, it, and it is that determination and that sense that you can discover what you want to do and, and take a leadership role that's going to make you go ahead and, and, and be all you can be. So I want to thank you very much for, for this experience. Thank you very much for having me and the great honor that you're bestowing upon me and these, my fellow um, awardees today. Thank you. I hope you're enjoying the program so far, but stay tuned. We'll be back. Hi, I'm Donna Real. I am the chair of the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland's board. Tonight we have had our Distinguished Women event, which is our major fundraiser for the year. And this is Sheila Murphy. She is the vice chair of GSCM, the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland, and she's also the chair of the Distinguished Women event that we had tonight. Sheila? Thank you so much, Donna. What an incredible evening we had today. The stories of each of the honorees and each of the young ladies who are our future leaders was so incredibly exciting and inspiring. I, I expected to get a high from the evening, but I was beside myself. Hearing the stories of each of these incredibly powerful women, each story was so special, so unique, and yet it had this common bond of incredibly powerful experiences that each of them underwent in their lives. And it was inspiring and exciting to see the interaction between the young teenagers who followed them around and each of these women that acted as the role models and inspired these people. At the end of the evening, I wasn't sure who had inspired whom. And I wasn't sure if each of the audience was beside themselves. I was expecting, as I had mentioned earlier, to have an incredibly exciting evening. But my expectations were far exceeded when I heard each person's life story, the ideas and how Girl Scouts has influenced and changed them and made them into these very strong, successful, powerful business owners, executives, company owners, government, uh, senior government leaders. To summarize, this was such an incredibly exciting and inspiring evening. I commend every person to try and make time to attend it and to support the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland. My name is Chelsea Green and I was chosen to shadow Ms. Jenny Trossel. Ms. Trossel is a smart, successful woman who has earned her respect in the business in the automotive field, a male-dominated workforce. She is part owner of Anderson Automotive. Walking in, I wasn't quite sure how much there was to learn about a car dealership. From my perspective, selling cars was as easy as sticking a car in a lot and making the first person who walked through the door buy it. <laughs> Researching and buying a car was the hard part. After spending the day at the dealership, I realized just how much more there is to buying and selling cars. In between learning about cars, I was shown the process of buying a car. As a part of my shadow day, Ms. Joshua arranged for me to go through the virtual process of buying a car. I was able to look around, pick out a car, fill out the necessary paperwork, and I bought a blue Pontiac G6. <laughs> which I don't own, by the way. Before the day was over, I had lunch with Ms. Trussell. I enjoyed our conversation as we ate our pizzas and salads together. I was delighted to hear more about Ms. Trussell's background, her family, dog, and her experiences in traveling with her Girl Scout troop. I now understand that buying a car doesn't have to be stressful. As long as you do your research so that hasty decisions aren't made, then your car buying experience will be just as enjoyable as mine was. <laughs> Overall, this was a fun educational experience and I'm grateful to have been chosen as one of the shadow bees. As a dancer, I would like to one day open a studio. I hope to use all the business knowledge that I gained during my shadow day with Ms. Trossel to help my studio flow. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Jenny Trossel. Um, I'm truly blessed to have the opportunity to spend the day with Chelsea and I look forward to her bright future and being her friend as she grows up and does the things that she plans to do. I want to thank you again um, and uh, thank the Girl Scouts and the honorees and all my Wasn't that wonderful? I feel so inspired by these women and their stories and by the young women who followed them today. I hope every child has an opportunity like this to find a role model in their lives and to find ways that they can truly grow and be great people in our society. So come with me and we'll go have a look at the program that's taking place. Good evening. 
My name is Shelby Kessler, and I was given the opportunity to shadow Ms. Sharon Pinder. Sharon Pinder is the founder of the Top 100 Minority Business Entrepreneur Awards and the author of On the Backs of Wax, the untold story of the MBE movement. She is also the founder and the chief executive officer of the Pinder Group, a company that helps leaders of small and large companies, nonprofits, and government agencies fulfill their missions by helping them develop and implement strategic visions, improve business processes, reduce complexity, leverage diversity, reduce costs, and build new capabilities for long-term success. Just before being appointed to the Governor's Cabinet, Ms. Pinder earned her Master's Degree in Technology Management from Maryland University College. Ms. Pinder has also acquired leadership experience through her jobs at Fortune 500 corporations. On March 12th, I went on my shadow day with Ms. Pinder, and we attended the Maryland Women in Technology Conference. Here, I saw firsthand that Sharon Pinder is a woman who is recognized as a leader. When I first arrived, I was greeted by so many women, leaders, and inspired by all their stories. I was also amazed that every person I met told me how lucky I was to be shadowing Ms. Pinder. As I did further research, I found that Ms. Pinder has responded to the needs of more than 250,000 women and minority-owned businesses. As my shadow day progressed, I was given an opportunity to get to know the other side of Sharon Pinder. I soon learned that this amazing woman once wanted to be a dancer, and she never planned to become a successful businesswoman. However, Ms. Pinder has become successful and has a long list of awards and honors to be proud of, including being honored as one of Maryland's top 100 women in 2002 and 2005. Sharon Pinder also was inducted into the Circle of Excellence in 2007. Throughout my shadow day, I felt inspired. I, I attended a conference full of women telling me that I was their future. I also learned that women were once seen as inferior when it came to technology, and I had the opportunity to meet the women that changed all that. I was also very pleased to know that Ms. Pinder saw me as inspiring because I aspire to be a successful woman in the medical field. And I now feel, as a Girl Scout and as a young woman, thankful Ms. Pender has worked so hard to create a society where women can become successful in male-dominated fields. Being chosen to shadow such an inspiring woman was truly an honor. Sharon Pender has not just met the needs of many women and minority-owned businesses. She has paved the way for the women of tomorrow. Ms. Pinder believes that as a woman, operating in a male-structured world is truly a challenge. Sharon Pinder has truly tackled this challenge. It gives me great pleasure to introduce to you Ms. Sharon Pinder. How are you all? Bye. Good, good, good. I get so excited when I look at these ladies because as I continue to grow and continue to find my voice, they will change the rules. And they won't be finding their voice. Whereas we try to adapt to the game, they will define the game. And I'm so very When Shelby and I showed up at that conference, Women in Technology, they were so inspired by what we were doing. We're going to put the Women in Technology in, in connection with the Girl Scouts, and they decided that they would then do Shadowing Day at their conferences every year. <laughs> I'm just going to leave you with this thought. When God made Eve, she turned the world upside down. <laughs> I know you've heard, I'm just going to paraphrase this, um, this quote a bit, but I believe it's the collective spirit of the Girl Scouts that will turn it right side up again. So thank you very, very much. 
I am Mary McClurg. I'm former chair of the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland and I presently serve on the board. And this is Tracy Barnett, our CEO of Girl Scouts. What a wonderful event we have had tonight. The best part of this particular event was the girls. I am an educator and I know how important it is for these particular girls to have the opportunity to display their leadership. And they did an excellent job of that. I couldn't ask for anything better. How about you, Tracy? No, I, I totally agree, Mary. And one of the things that, um, that I see after each of these events every year is how delighted the girls are with their experience. Um, when they leave, they know that they are going to be keeping in touch with the women that they've shadowed. They know that these women are uh, on their side. They are supporters of them. Um, and it really starts them on the road to understanding uh, what about networking and how helpful that can be for all of us in our future lives. Right, and when we look at these particular girls, we know that these are the girls that will be successful in the future, and they have started here in the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland, and for that, we are grateful. And we are especially grateful for our distinguished women, each of which has brought a different skill to this particular endeavor. Yeah, and again, every year we see uh, the different types of uh, uh, professions that these women bring to the table, and just when you think that um, the event can't get any better. It seems to get better, uh, and everybody in the audience is so interested and enthralled with what these women have to say. Uh, even though many of the people in the audience have known these women for a number of years, usually they learn something new about them at this event, uh, especially when they start talking about their past uh, lives as a Girl Scout, which uh, oftentimes you just don't have that opportunity to talk about to uh, your friends. So uh, it's just so inspirational and I think for them sometimes it's a trip down memory lane as they can relive their uh, years uh, as a Girl Scout. And what an opportunity for our girls to realize that Girl Scouting does make a difference in the life of women because here we have our distinguished women who are uh, actually talking about what Girl Scouting has done for them in terms of leadership, in terms of their skills and has made them the women that they are today. Absolutely. For more information about the Girl Scouts, to learn how your daughter can become a Girl Scout or to learn how you as an adult can become a volunteer, please call our uh, office at 410-358-9711 and we will direct you to the right person. Good evening. My name is Caroline Lazinski and I have the privilege of shadowing the incredible Miss Policy. <laughs> On my shadow day, we drove into the middle of Baltimore to the Loria Education Incorporated, which is this intense, intimidating building. And after entering the lobby, I rode the elevator to the 12th floor, and I was in the waiting room. I was so nervous. I met her assistant, Ms. Castro, who we had spoken to many times on the phone. And she greeted me with a smile, and I started to relax. This set the mood for the entire day. Next, I got to meet Ms. Paula Singer herself. However, we didn't have much time to chat. She got right to work. And during the course of the day, I learned about her business, her employees, and her day-to-day -day routine, which, let me tell you, is a really, really, really busy one. <laughs> and throughout the day, I experienced five business meetings, met with several leaders of the company, and learned about her marketing production. The best part, however, was my lunch with Ms. Singer. I got to learn about her and her experiences. I learned her story of success. She did not become who she is today because of an agenda, but because of a passion, a passion to spread education. First, she was a teacher, and then a leader of advancing reading to children in need. And now, she's an executive of a multi-million dollar corporation. She was a teacher with an idea, a person with a drive, and a woman with an incredible spirit. Now her story amazed me, and I also learned she has been one of Maryland's top 100 women three times, making her one of the women in the circle of excellence. Now this is the kind of woman that should be celebrated and recognized. I'm now pleased to present the amazing Miss Paula Singer. who 
it's amazing, don't you? Uh, I will always remember that day because uh, she came in with such energy and enthusiasm, and she was very purposeful. Uh, we had to get right to work. I didn't think there was any other way. <laughs> Uh, in fact, my day with, with Caroline started me thinking a lot about um, what it meant to be a Girl Scout, and you've, you've heard a lot about that already today, but um, duty, and I have to do it my way. Um, on my honor, I will try to do my duty to God and my country. Those were the words we used. Um, we learned that we had duty and obligations. Sometimes those words aren't often used, but I think they're good words. Um, duty to our God who had blessed us um, with many gifts. Duty to help him um, create a better world. Um, a duty to our country. Um, a country that, while not perfect, provided us with so very much. Carolyn, I thank you and all of the other Girl Scouts here and everyone else today for this honor and especially for your kind words. Um, I hope that years from now, um, when you receive an important award, um, and you look back, as I have, um, you'll find that scouting was a key ingredient to your success. Thank you very much. Oh, I know, the girls were so focused. Uh, for them to have what they want to do, what their goals are for the future at this stage in life, is, it was amazing to me because I'm still trying to decide what I'm going to do when I grow up. Um, and then I think what Sharon Pinder had to say when she said, we had to adapt as we were defining ourselves as leaders and as we moved into leadership roles. Whereas the girls that are coming behind us and this generation is going to define what happens. That was just incredibly, incredibly powerful. What I loved was the differences. Like one person talked about their personal story, another person talked about the impact on you know the, how they would affect women and change women's movement. Third person talked about their entrepreneurial experience, and was just so each, just each story was so different and yet so similar in the underlying theme of success. And as we're talking about, they were talking about cookies a lot tonight, and and we're often looked at as, as the cookie sales and, and that's it. But the, I think what the women talked about tonight was cookies as defining a program of sales and leadership and courage to do the ask and close the sale. So it's not just selling cookies. Sheila had an idea tonight that I thought was brilliant is how to sponsor girls for camps and that for two hundred and fifty dollars people could sponsor a girl for camp. For a whole year. Whole I mean that would change the life the girls life hopefully for the rest of her life to have this incredibly powerful camp experience. The way to contact the Girl Scouts of Central Maryland for all you young technology kids, it's gscm.org. Go to the website. It's incredibly powerful, useful. It's got a lot of information. Their phone number, their contact information, everything's right there. Girl Scouts of Central Maryland, gscm.org. And for those of you who are like me that prefer to phone in, it's 410-358. 9711. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you get involved.